How to do shading part 5, specifically curvy shading, which can warp and wrap around your subjects, making their shapes and volumes more pronounced. So to practice that, just start off with disconnected curves by gently landing and lifting off the pencil, and doing so in different directions can help you enhance your versatility of choosing any direction of such hatching. You could also cross hatch in such a manner to create creases and strong edges, creating concave shapes and whatnot. Now this is all well and good, but uh, oh boy, am I not stopping here! Using curved and regular hatching, you can pretty much shade any subject to perfection with specifically directed shading patterns that can be more rounded or angular or even... Oh, uh...